Okay, in this video we're going to look at the remainder firm and particularly for C3. So we're going to be looking at the remainder firm for doing division rather than um, C2 where you're just finding out the remainder. Okay, uh, let's start off by writing down what remainder firm is. Remainder firm is f of x is equivalent to q of x times divisor plus the remainder. Okay, I sometimes like to think of this in terms of a numerical fraction, just so I can get it in my head. So for instance, if I had something like 8 divided by 3, okay, uh, f of x is what you're dividing, okay, so 8 is equal to, uh, q of x is what we call the quotient, it's how many times what you're dividing by goes into 8, okay, so 3 goes into 8 twice, multiplied by the divisor, multiplied by the divisor, which is uh, 3, and then plus the remainder. Well, if 8 divided by 3 is 2, remainder 2, so it would be plus 2. Now, we can use this in algebra whenever we're wanting to divide to work out what the answer the quotient would be and what the divisor would be. Okay, let's have a look and see how we would do that now. Okay, so we're now going to look at this uh, question. We're going to divide, do this division using a uh, remainder firm. So, we've got x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 2. So let's first of all write it in the format f of x equals the quotient or equivalent to the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder. So, f of x is what we're dividing. So you would write x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1. Is equivalent to uh, the quotient. Okay, so the quotient is what you get whenever you divide. So you've got x cubed, and we'll divide that by the x squared. Okay, so x cubed divided by x squared is x. So that means that the quotient is going to be ax plus b. Okay. To get the quotient, what you do is you divide the first term of the numerator by the first term of the denominator. And then what you do is you get that value of x, or that power of x, and you just decrease through the powers. So for instance, on the top line, if I had x to the 6 as being the first term, and x cubed being the bottom um, first term of the denominator, x uh, to 6 divided by x squared is x cubed. So you would have ax cubed plus bx squared plus ax, or cx plus d. If you had uh, x to the 6 divided by x squared, or x to the 4, you would get x to 6 divided by x to the 4 is x squared, so it would be ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, So you divide the first term of the numerator by the first term of the denominator, and that will give you the first term of what x should be, and then you decrease through the terms. The reason is, if you think about it using long division, if your first term was x, just look at this one, the x cubed and x to the x squared. Okay, if you had x cubed in there and x here, x squared there, x cubed divided by x squared would be x, and then you, you would carry it, you'd multiply, take it away, then you do x squared, the first one would be here, would be x squared, and then you get you like your number here. Okay, so what you always do is you divide the first term on the numerator by the first term in the denominator, and it'll give you what you, form your quotient should be in. And you had times your divisor, so that's going to be times x squared plus 5x plus 2. And then you had plus the remainder. The remainder is always one power less than the divisor. So the divisor is x squared plus 5x plus 2. Well, the remainder is going to be one power less than that. So that's then going to be one power less than x squared is x. So it's going to be, we've done a and b, so it's going to be plus cx plus d. Okay. Now let's work out what our a, b, a, b, c, and d is. Okay, so that will tell us what we get as the quotient and then what our remainder is. Okay. Okay, so we're going to expand the brackets to work out the values of a, b, c, and d. So, x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1 is equivalent to ax cubed plus 5ax squared plus 2ax plus bx squared plus 5b 
x plus 2b plus your c d cx and plus your d. So let's equate the coefficients. So let's equate the coefficients. Equate the coefficients. Normally I'd write that down, equate the coefficients of x cubed. So on this side you've got 1x cubed. On this side you have got a, so a equals 1. Let's equate the coefficients of x squared. I'm going to write that out. 4 equals 5a, because you could do 5a x squared, plus b. a was 1, so you're going to get 4 equals 5 plus b, so b equals minus 1. Let's equate the coefficients of x. So on the left hand side you've got 3, on the right hand side you've got 2a plus 5b plus c. So 3 equals 2 minus 5 plus c. Take the 2 away from the 3 so you get 1 equals minus 5 plus c. So c equals 6. And finally let's equate the constants. On the left hand side you've got 1, on the right hand side we had um, 2b plus d. 2b is minus 2 plus d, so d equals 3. So we have got a is 1, b is minus 1, c is 6 and d is 3. a equals 1, b equals minus 1, c equals 6, and d equals 3. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put these back into here, and we're going to work out what our quotient is and what our remainder is, and we're going to look at what format to write our answer in. Okay, before I actually uh, we'll put the numbers in, so we're going to get x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1 is equivalent to uh, ax plus b, so it's going to be um, x minus 1, bracket x squared plus 5x plus 2 plus uh, 6x plus 3. So, uh, before we actually carry on with that, let's have a look at the one we were doing earlier. We, we looked at a numerical example, we looked at 8 over 3, and we had 3 went into 8 twice, so our quotient was, we wrote 8 equals 3 goes into 8 twice, so the quotient was 2, times the divisor 3 plus the remainder was 2. So, because obviously the quotient is 3 goes into 8 twice, times the divisor, and the remainder of 3 goes into 8, to remainder 2, so the remainder is 2. Now, let's look at how we would actually use this to work out our answer. Well, if we were to do 8 divided by 3, well, the answer would be 2, the quotient, plus the remainder, 2, over the divisor, 3, because it would be 2 and 2 thirds. So what you do is, whenever you're actually writing your answer, what we're going to do is, the answer to this would obviously be the quotient, x minus 1, plus the remainder, which was 6x plus 3, all divided by the divisor, which is x squared plus 5x plus 2.